something you don't usually do but I decided to do basically configuring the transistors as full bridge diodes and I have a big basically antenna acting as a capacitor outside isolated from ground and I'm connecting it to the coax here on one side and on the negative side I simply have this wire here go into the cold water pipe if you absolutely want to see it's down here taped into the water pipe so with that said here it is right there so these are my two stages first stage is right here is this is the first rectifier right here right there and this is the second rectifier so the first rectifier gets the power from the uh, basically capacitor antenna would work better with an uh, electret kind of antenna but I'm sure the electric properties of the coax is helping out as well now this rectifier here rectifies to DC here then I have my capacitor right here and this capacitor slowly charges to a few volts and once a couple of volts about and on at the threshold whatever the minimum is for this 2N222A transistor it's configured as a simple switch triggers the second here this is the second rectifier circuit basically doing the same thing but isolated on it's producing its own power but what that's doing is it's chopping it now so I have it's basically an oscillator because it's acting as a simple basically a square wave generator powered by its own source of energy well the NBN basic so zooming a little bit out of here I just have my on uh, my uh, oscilloscope here running on the um, oscillator side the 2N222A that I just showed you and basically a square wave now I'm sure I could change the frequency but this is very crude because I just have the capacitor here so a bigger capacitor obviously would mean longer charge time which would slow down the pulses if I really want to change this so so the next step would be to um, feed these pulses into a step up or step down transformer to do more interesting things with it so what's very interesting here is this is the setup here the two transistor rectifiers and here's my little oscillator here which is basically triggered by the capacitor charging going on off on off producing my square waves here as you can see on the scope so this is very interesting and the scope is connected right here on the second bar here which I have if you're wondering what these LEDs are it's just because I'm using one side to probe into the breadboard because my wires a little um, they're not very hard and it's difficult so it's just easier for my alligator clips for connection points because at one point I had the analog meter here, it's not connected right now but uh, because uh, the digital meter here, it's disconnected kind of goes bonkers, you know, with oscillators and ugh, that's the wonder with digitals, so i rather try with analog so this is it, I hope you enjoy